Okay, today uh, I'm going to go over the Walker Maths practice. This might be helpful. Uh, let's start with the question one. Find the value of x if 2 to the power x plus 1 equals 32. Okay, it's uh, exponential equation. That's the first thing you got to identify the skill required. And look at the base. So you need to write 32 in base 2. write the factor tree that will always help you to uh, well split the number so one two three four five that gives you two to the power x plus one equals two to the power five since the bases are same, I can write x plus 1 should be equal to 5. Then solve it. That will give you x equals 5 minus 1. So x equals 4. That will probably give you just an achieved B. Solve 2 x squared minus x minus 15 equal to 0. Quadratic equation solving that's the skill as I said always specify the skill you can highlight the stuff you can uh, it's uh, for the NCA always try to write everything uh, either with the blue or black pen okay so first thing uh, check for common factor doesn't have a common factor so number two is it already factorized no these are the questions you always ask then factorize when a is not equal to 1. So step 1 factorizing 2x squared minus 6 minus 15 All right I'll follow the cross method 2x and x, 2x times x should give you 2x squared, that's the one. Negative 15, I want to split it to maybe, okay, so negative 15 pairs of factors. Uh, 3 times 5, 15 times 1, and that should be all. Now, if I go for 3 times 2, that gives you, so that is going to work, 5 and 3. Now, which one will be negative? The... 
you got to be careful now that will be negative that will be positive because now that will give you 5x if I multiply along this diagonal that will give you 5x and if I multiply the, this one diagonally that will give you negative 6x which gives you if I add them together that gives you negative x that works checked and then the factors along those branches it gives you 2x plus 5 and x minus 3 back to the equation now 2x plus 5 times x minus 3 equals 0 and solving it that will give you 2x plus 5 equal to 0 so x should be equal to uh, minus 5 over 2 or x equals 3 so these are the two solutions x equals negative 5 over 2 x equals 3 this is done this is done okay I'll move to C let me do let me see within 10 minutes how many problems I can solve so find the value of x if 7 to the power 4x plus 7 over 49 gives you 7x squared that doesn't seem to be easy problem but one thing I identified ooh, those are the base maybe this will be helpful identify the base uh, so can I write can I write 49 in base 7 7 times 7 so 7 squared so what I'm going to do, I will write 7, 4x, 7 to the power 4x plus 7 and I'm going to divide that by 7 squared. That should give you 7x squared. Right. And now, since I'm dividing uh, the terms with indices, so that'll be four, 7 to the power 4x plus 7 and I'm subtracting the power of 2 uh, okay that should be equal to 7x to the power 2 now 7 4x plus 7 minus 2 should give you 4x plus 5 should be equal to 7x squared still going on okay so since now the bases are same I can write 4x plus 5 equals x squared now the, this is going to be a quadratic this is going to be new quadratic and I am going to make one of the sides equal to zero so if I transfer everything over there that will give me x squared minus 4x minus 5 should be equal to zero that's an equation quadratic equation which is easier because you don't have any coefficient over there and I'm going to factorize it quickly that will give me x minus 5 x plus 1 yeah it's going to work now the solutions of the equation will be x equals 5 or x equals negative 1 is that 
what they wanted. I think it's about time I stop and I'll come back with question number 1D. Thank you.